in this video, I will show you how to model this cool looking building or moon shape building inside the water in Revit. Okay, so in this uh, kind of project, I use the architectural template. Okay, before uh, we proceed to this uh, tutorial, I would like to ask everyone that uh, please view every part of this uh, video and don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Okay, so first thing I will do is to set the unit, okay, UN for the shortcut, and I set this project into meters okay and now reference plane rp for the shortcut i rename it into one and this is two okay so now i go into the south elevation to set the level of four meters okay and select this okay right click create similar use the pick and i set this into four meters okay so now once you have this minimize this ceiling level okay go to level one and massing inside in place mass mass one choose the circle and draw a circle okay in diameter of 10 meters okay so once you have this okay you can change it into fine and wire frame go to 3d okay select this go to create form solid form and you, you see there is two options so i choose this moon shape okay so now fine again and wire frame. Now what I'm going to do next, okay, is to go into south elevation, okay. Select all this, okay, MB for the move, okay. We snap here and move it in the level one. Okay, so once you have this, hit finish okay and of course you need to change the wireframe and fine okay so now select this okay mass floor hold the control shift to select all and check the box okay and now you can go into 3d okay use the shape to rotate okay and now you can select this or go into machine inside use the floor duplicate okay duplicate floor okay and edit type by category okay so go to appearance and duplicate this and rename it into floor okay and now you can change the material here in the asset browser go to appearance and flooring okay or let's say concrete for now and you can drag it and you can select whatever you want okay so I just choose this and apply it okay and now I just change this into point one okay 100 mm and hit okay select all of this and create floor okay so if I change it into realistic this is what he look okay and now I just simply select this okay and now select double click select this 
Ok. Hit pin is first. Ok. Select this. Hit the tab. To select all. Ok. In category. I just change this into. Clear. Glass. Glazing. Ok. And hit. Ok. So now once you have this. Go into. South. Ok. So now. What I'm going to do next is to draw an arc here, okay, and go to name, choose the reference plane one, okay, and I just simply draw an arc here, okay, like this, okay. And MM for the mirror. And you can use now the R to give the shape here. Okay, select this. Okay. And control, copy. Okay, go to arc. Draw arc here and modify. Select this and control B, okay, to make it equal in the other side. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to go into 3D, okay. So hold the control shift to rotate. Select this, okay, create form and solid form. Okay, and I just drag it all the way outside like this, okay. And now, I just go into site, okay? I just change it into pine and wireframe. Okay, select all of this, okay? RO for the rotate, okay? Copy. And I just rotate it this uh, 54 degrees, okay? And now MM for the shortcut to mirror it in the other side. Okay. So now, again, hit the tab. Okay. To select this, RO. And now, copy again. Go into the middle and I just rotate it again here okay so let's say like this okay and mm for the shortcut to mirror it in the other side okay so now once you have this okay you need to select it all of this okay by Hitting the tab, okay, and hold the control shift to select, okay, like this. Okay, so once you select all like this, okay, go here into properties and void form. Okay, so now go into cut, okay, select this and use the cut. Okay. So, unjoin element. Okay. So, once you, if not working for that one, okay, you just hit the tab, okay, or modify it, hit the tab to select this, and you can adjust it a little bit like this okay make sure that the same alignment in the uh, rest of this uh, arc okay so now you can go into cut select this and select this so now you can see automatically cut okay
So now once you have this, okay, go into hit finish. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is to go into massing inside. Now I just choose the wall. Edit type, you need to duplicate it wall. Okay, go to edit category. Okay, and I just duplicate this and wall. Okay, and I go to appearance and I just want to select the metal for this one. Okay, so I think metal checker plate or chrome this group brush okay apply and hit okay hit okay okay and now go here into properties and you can change it this into PNA space Okay, so now you can select this, select this, so, and I just want to unjoin element, okay, so this is the okay. And you can go again into wall and select this and join element. Okay, so there is some design inside. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do next is to go into site. Okay. So side, now I just go into topo surface, okay? And I just simply place a point around this uh, model, okay? And go to category. And now duplicate this and water, okay? Go to appearance and now choose the liquid and i just choose the swimming pool okay and i just change this into generic river okay and wave height let's say 2.52 apply and hit okay and hit finish okay so now what I'm going to do next is to go inside this, okay? Hit the tab twice, okay? Pick this, okay? And you can select by hitting the tab to select all, okay? and DE for the delete and hit finish, okay? So now what I'm going to do next is to select all of this, okay, filter, okay? And uncheck this, mask, apply, okay, and go to hide, okay? So you can go inside this by double clicking window it all like this and glass clear so it's okay now go to reset hide isolate now you can go into level two okay hit finish now i just set my camera in this front like this okay and I just simply do, move it a little bit, this crap, okay? And now what I'm going to do 
next is to set the render settings rr for the shortcut okay and now i just choose this drop 600 dpi sky very few cloud i just exposure i just set this into 6000 and i just set the shadow of 10 apply okay counter check and go to render so please don't forget to like share or subscribe to this channel okay, and if you want you can search the other tutorial that i made in this channel okay and share it with your friends so see you again in my next video have a nice day to all of you and bye bye